Ozzy, Ubim Nadi, Sonke sieht das Sieben an sich. Homie, don't worry. Oder, no more Gossi goes up in our skin. This is not the truth, so stop tuning in. You can't get can't tell a dolly. Come, yes, come to the wine. Social issues, this so easily. Giving you the latest news so instantly. Gender we tighter, keep the channel locked on the inside. Gender we tighter, keep the channel locked on the inside. Sunday morning. What a beautiful way to start the show. Yeah? How else could we start the show? Tamasha, third time on Mzanti Insider. You seeing the brand new set. Yes. Last time we were speaking to you, it was all about your song with Dream Team, Tegede. What has changed? 
my own music now. I've decided yes. to branch out solo EST yes. and fly the baton of my own sound. What is the sound? Well, I decided ultimately to call it pop. Mm -hmm. I think for a lack of misinterpretation because mm -hmm. I kind of dabble and I'm exposed to a lot of music so mm -hmm. I feel like exploring and experimenting those avenues yeah. is something I'm willing to do so when I get a chance to do something that sounds a little different and yeah. people don't know what to call it they yeah. kind of find something that's closest to it yeah. but for the most part, the genre is pop. It's pop. Yeah. I love this single that she just did. Like, Thanks if I heard this on the radio, I would have to wait for the DJ that I'm like, yo, is this her? Because I yes. think it's like different yes. sound. Thank you. Amazing. You take it there Thank and you. you come back. It's absolutely what, what, amazing. What can we expect from the album? Well, it's not an album, it's just a song at the moment. Uh -huh. I'm promoting the single. I'm currently working on my second single, which should be dropping soon as well. And I cannot wait for you to see the rest of I we can't, can't wait. Thank you so I much did. for Thank coming you. through and sharing with us. Absolutely awesome performance. And that is how it begins right here on Mzanti Insider. With no further ado, it's time for us to head on straight and see what's coming up today. Namstad, you're going to Insider. What about your own album where they talk? We keep back hooked, every Kenyan lizard. How is scan with your smartphone or your smart device? Enter history of Mutu. What went wrong for you that you, you, you stepped into tribes? Always wanted to be in with the cool crowd. So, I don't know how to say, how to say, oh. When life happens, Pusha is going to face the heartbreak alone. She can't go back to the parents and say, listen, Mike broke my heart. So because Mzante Insider is all about you guys, there's nothing better than our insiders sharing the things that they are doing and thinking. It's Lila Onepile, Kat, and today we have a guy that hit us with a topic that hits the nation hard. Absolutely. Now, do remember, if you want to share your story with us on our perspective segment, all you have to do is contact us. Mzante Insider at bungwe.tv is where you'll find us. Right now, though, let's check out this week's perspective. Lamona <laughs> Fogamenti, <laughs> You must buy water to cook. I guess I I guess 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 I Tuna,
absolutely interesting. I mean, it's a topic that is happening in our yeah. country right now. We're all aware that we need to be using water wisely, and it's mm. very interesting to see. I mean, see. for years, people have been singing that song, Let's Use Water Wisely, giving us different tips. And I think we're just at a stage where we really need to start implementing. Schedule out, brush out your teeth, and the water's just running. You know, just take into cockpit and all these little things. Let's save the water. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let's save I the water. I love it when you reprimand. I, I love it. <laughs> Not reprimanding. That's the end there. Full stop. If you want to tell us something, or rather share with us, you know, what's happening in your life, your family, your hood, or your world, really, anything, even about anything cool that you're doing, you go for contact and who knows, we might be showing your perspective right here on Mozambique Insider. Absolutely. So now it's time for some retail therapy. We're going to go to a quick ad break. Don't you move. We'll be back. Keep the channel locked on Mozambique Insider. Welcome back, everybody. Gonna have Zanti Insider. Fellow one who is SABC One Zanti for sure. What impression do you give off? Hmm? Do you have what it takes when you first take that step into an interview? Just by the way, absolutely. Let's talk about from the way you look mm. to your posture and what you say. Do you have the best you to get the best career? And to help us unpack this topic, we've got Tanya Sachs joining us. She's an image consultant. Hello. Hello. How hey, are Tanya. you? I'm so good. Thanks Thank for having you. me. you. Tanya, first through. things first. Yeah. A lot of people might not know, so we should get into it. What is an image consultant? I deal with whatever you are saying yeah. when you don't say a single word. So you walk into a room, wow. you haven't said a word, and you are speaking volumes. And most of our better judgments mm -hmm. about people's situations and feelings actually happen in those first couple of seconds. And then afterwards you may think, oh, I shouldn't be so judgmental. Yes. Why am I? And meanwhile then, oh, they stab you in your back and you were like, ah, I knew I had a funny feeling I about that it. person. Yeah. I felt it. Yeah. And it's all about that. It's non-verbal communication. That's Absolutely. the community. All right, so you're here with, with, with Monica. Hi, Monica. Thanks so much for coming through. She's our model for today. Um, and, and the real essence of what we want to have, the conversation we want to have with you is, as young people, we leave high school, we go to varsity, we've got the swag, then we come into the working world. How do we transition? Looking at what Monica looks like, she looks cool, she looks like she's, you know, a day on campus. Now yeah. she has to go to work. How do we switch from this look to the working environment? Okay, so I must just tell you, it's a real, 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 real big deal. And mm -hmm. it's a serious issue. A lot of young people have got great CVs and a skill set, but aren't presenting what that corporate culture wants in their look. So mm -hmm. what you wear to an interview really, really is totally based on the job you're going for. In the mm. corporate environment, a banking environment, how we would dress Monica is different if she was coming to work at a film studio Absolutely. or in yeah. marketing. Yeah. So we need to look, your first thing you really, really have to do when you get a job interview is know your company. But of course, if you were going to an interview for the first time, no matter where you were going, mm -hmm we wouldn't have your hair down. Though her hair looks great, mm -hmm. to be tied back a bit more of a professional look, we put on a pair of earrings. We, we, um, one doesn't want to over-accessorize. You don't yeah. want to under-accessorize either. So just looking at Monica now, what we're seeing is a young kind of student hip vibe with her snow wash torn jeans and kind of Ugg style boots. Yeah. All of that completely inappropriate for, for working any event. job. Yeah any interview because you're coming in it makes one look younger and it doesn't command the presence that you need to say Absolutely. that i can i can do this job Absolutely. and monica's nail polish they're funky and awesome and really cool once you're in a job say in in, in a marketing or more creative sector you could possibly wear that color but definitely not in any corporate environment we, we, we would take off her nail polish and keep her nails natural oh. red also wouldn't be a color you'd wear to an interview and you also wouldn't wear red clothing you don't wear red clothing to an interview Why ever, is that? ever never Why that? Because red is just seen, I mean, every color has a language and every color has an energy, which mm. is really true. You can measure color. Now, if I love orange and you don't like orange, if we both sit in the orange room, ah. orange stimulates appetite. So every color works on us. Red is the color that like, um, when you see, what do you call them? Yeah, or? it's aggressive, those matadors, the bull yeah. and red. Absolutely. Red Absolutely. is the go color, red is the aggression color. Yeah. Open toe shoes, you don't want to ever wear to an interview, no matter where you're going. All right. Don't want to see open toe shoes. Wow. We don't want to see too little makeup. We don't want to see, as I said, too much makeup. It's the same with accessorizing yeah. and not too sexy. Keeping those girls covered and in check. The skirt should not be too short, shouldn't ride up. Yeah. For the men as well, although you may have a good body, oftentimes I'm seeing a lot of the young guys with their good bodies, it looks like the button's going to pop open any minute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't breathe. Get a shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. So there's, oh, there's so, 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 so many yeah. 
points I could carry on for. You know what I, I want to quickly you. Yeah. want you to touch on? Just the budget issue. Okay. Is it like a transformation you do all at once? Or there's ways you can, you know, budget wise, especially yes. students who yes. are now starting, the, the salary is not that big yet. Absolutely. How do you maneuver through that? I have to say, even me, okay, I'm 44 years old now and I've been doing this for, you look for 25 years. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> as, for the work I do, I can't look like a yeah. you know, old little <laughs> granny <laughs> sitting here. Yeah. But um, I remember myself, the, the first thing you have to see that you do, this from your neck up, you can always keep in check. Even if you have to colour your hair yourself, get it onto your friend to help you with a, a weave or whatever extension that's a reasonable price. Having your hair done and looking professional and neat, even if it's all tied back, anybody can do. Mm -hmm. Even if you have to scrape it all back. Absolutely. That really can be done. All you need is a comb. You, all you need is a comb. Totally. Yeah. And a mirror maybe, that would yeah. be good. Um, and and um, makeup for, for girls. Mm -hmm. Women must wear, not overdoing the makeup for an interview, but too little makeup is almost as bad as no makeup at all. Mm. So understanding, you know, putting on a little bit of makeup for your interview. Yeah. And then there are so many shops now, and you know it. You mm -hmm. can just go and you need a classic pair, even for the men, a classic pair of black pants. Mm -hmm. You can get a jacket at the various departmental stores yeah. and you don't have to get a whole huge wardrobe. Yeah. If you have one basic suit and you can, for, for men for example, you've got a dark charcoal suit, it's always go, good to get a darker colour. Mm -hmm. Even though you can go now to the shops, you're seeing some funky kind of blues that are in, mm. brighter blues, you want to go more conservative. You yeah. always want to err on that side. And yeah. One or two items should see you through. Yeah. And yeah. And so mix and match and between mix the and two. match. And once you've got black pants for girls, it's actually easy, really. Yeah. Because once you've got black pants or black skirt, you can just change the top. You can be smart with it and like make yeah. it funky. And jackets and are important, sorry, for 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 interviews. Okay, very, cool. Very so jackets, important. the black pieces, the darker colors, the darker and of course color. making sure that you're always looking neat above. Now you and Monica had a transformation yes. session and image consult, so we get to check out how this whole image consulting thing really plays out. Here's a cool clip of the both of them, you know, consulting. Check it out. So what we're looking at today is preparing you for an interview. Getting a fabulous job can be the start to a wonderful career, which of course can change your life. How do we do that? The most important thing you must know is that people believe what they see over and above what they hear. Within six seconds of your interviewer meeting you, they will know whether you're right for the position. Remember, nowadays when people are employing people, it's to see if that person is a fit into the company, a cultural fit. Our first thing is the greeting. I'm gonna show you that in a second. Before I do, I just want you to remember, I know you wanna be in the ad agency business, but your most important memory to remember, thing to remember, is no matter what, job you go to, your first point of call before anything is to know your company's culture. One has to dress for the position that you wish for. Dressing where you see yourself going. Always air towards a little bit more conservative when you dress, even if it is an ad agency. But let's go to that first point of when that interviewer walks in and sees you. Because then you know you've either got them or you've lost them in that initial second. You've got to look like you mean business. Should we do it? Okay, I'm the interviewer. Okay. Off I go. Yes, that's me. Hi, I'm Tanya. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you too. Perfect. Did you see what you did? Yeah. You smiled, you connected with me with your eyes. You looked perfectly confident. It was a great, firm handshake. Of course, we don't want, as we know, the floppy fish, which is this. <laughs> we don't want the terminator grip where you're crushing someone. Or I call it the, the priest or the pastor's grip when they do a double shake. You never want to do this either. Just a natural, relaxed handshake and smile. You did perfectly. We're going to change your clothes and put you into something perfect um, for the interview. And then you're going to come back and tell me that you got that fabulous job and take me out for dinner. I <laughs> will. This way, Monica. Welcome to the studio Thank where the you. magic begins. Let's have a seat over there. Now it's time for part two, which is just fabulous. And it's all about our presentation in terms of dress and grooming. So I'm gonna grab my color swatches over here. Now just remember, these are test colors. When I hold them in front of you, you are going to think, oh, I don't like this color. So it's not about what you like. 
it's about, this is, these are test swatches. Mm -hmm. We're just testing to find out cool or warm undertone. So I'm going to test you by putting the color swatch here. This is orange. So we have a look at your orange and we have a look at your fuchsia. For me, when I see the fuchsia color on you, immediately your skin is clearer and brighter. Let me just quickly show you this. We have a gold and a silver color swatch. The gold, you can see again, not that it's awful, you just are going a little bit yellow with the gold. And the silver, you are automatically clearer and brighter. Can you see that? So that just helps us with makeup tones. Makeup done, I've dressed Monica, and I'm so excited for the big reveal. You look Hi. beautiful. I feel beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> as fabulous as it looks, it would be a perfect and appropriate outfit for an, for an ad agency. Oh, I feel so good to say, I think I'm ready for a corporate break. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Next, how low can you go before you go all the way up? Then I ended up in a little zozo in a regen park. Okay. In a drag out. Keep the channel locked on us as the insider. You know what it is, it's as the insider. Welcome back. What does it take to completely change your life around? Have you ever looked at someone's life and thought, what a great life? While most people look at Leroy Slava and envy his life, but it was not always great. But today, he's the man that can say, I got over it. Leroy is a recovering drug addict who was once at his ultimate lowest. Leroy's life is reaching greater heights and he has not yet stopped climbing and he's joining us in the studio. Hello. Hi. Well, How are you? Good and yourself? I'm hearing amazing things about okay, you. Okay, that's But good. I want to take it back a little bit. When did you know that you were at your ultimate lowest? Um, I think this was about eight years ago. Mm. And no, the, the ultimate lowest was during the World Cup. Okay, so 2010. It was actually mm. 2010, Bafana beat France, 3-1. <laughs> you even remember. <laughs> I remember. Yeah. And you can imagine how we went on. We went crazy, bought bags, pills, and I ended up in a little zozo in a regen park. Okay. In a drug house, and I was lying there. It was a single bed. It was cold. It was winter. Drugs was finished. Money's finished. And I was supposed to go somewhere with my mother. Mm. And I slept out that, that day. And yeah. as I was lying there, I was thinking to myself, is this my life? Yeah. Is, is this what my life has become? Yeah, so that was your aha moment? That was, that was when I realized that I was, and I thought, no, I need to do something. Yeah. You, you were there in Reicha Park, yeah. right? And you woke up, you were supposed to go somewhere with your mom. Immediately when you woke up and you sobered up, what are the, some of the immediate things you had to change? Like, what, were, what changed? Mm. Right there, when I got up, I, I said, I, I told, told the guys that were there, I said, guys, this is the last time you see me. And they laughed, they said, ah, it's Tuesday, we'll see you on Friday, Saturday. <laughs> And I left and I went home. I stayed home though. What I changed immediately was I changed my surroundings. I didn't go back. Oh, okay. I didn't go back. I stayed away. And from there, I knew back then because I, I went to rehab. Yeah. A couple of years before. So I went to rehab for 30 days. So I, I've tried rehab and from there I went to church. Yeah. So like it had to be like a, an internal changing. I went to church and Pastors, or the pastors preaching, he says, if you want to change your life, yeah. if you want to make, if you want a different life, if you yeah. want to make Jesus your Lord and Savior, put up your hand, and that's what actually changed. That was my the life. decision that changed your life. That's the decision that changed my life. Inviting, mm. making Jesus my Lord and Savior, inviting Him to my life. Yeah. And that's when it changed, and things started happening after that. But I mean, Lero, and you, I stand to be corrected. A lot of times when people do drugs, the assumption is something really, really bad happened in their lives, or something went wrong. What went wrong for you that you, you, you stepped into drugs? For me, I can't really put my finger on it. I, I think maybe it was a low self-esteem. I always wanted to be in with the cool yeah. crowd and wanted to be in with them. My parents divorced. So it could be a few, a few things. And I don't know, I just always wanted to be in with the cool kids. And to me, back then in school, the cool kids were the ones that were getting drunk, doing yeah. drugs. And, and that's how I got into it. Yeah. 
we've termed you like a prop property mogul, if we can call you that. <laughs> and you're doing so well for yourself. Do you feel that you've wasted time, you know, like looking at your career and what you're doing now mm. and looking back at those five, six years or eight years that you wasted? Yeah. Do you feel you wasted time? Not really. I actually, someone asked me a while ago, they said, if you would change anything about your life or your past, what would you change? And I said, I wouldn't change anything. Why is that? Because it's because of that that I'm where I am now. Mm. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't be here. Yeah. And be able to to help people and and to and I've got we've got a youth group in Oregon Park, mm -hmm. and so because of that, I can help a lot of people now. Yeah. If you could look at Leroy back then, uh, 2010, you know, throwing away his life, what would you say to Leroy now, knowing the person that you've become and everything that you've experienced? What would you say to him? I'd say that it's not the end. Mm. It's not the end that 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 God says the Bible says God has a God has a plan for your life and yeah. it's a it's a good plan plans yeah. to prosper you not to harm you so that even though people are on drugs and I was on drugs that there's more afterwards it's not the end it's not the end mm -hmm. and there's there's still amazing things that can happen in your life yeah and tell me who Libra is now 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 I'm I'm. As I said, I'm from Boxburg. I'm, um, I'm a property investor, I'm an mm -hmm. entrepreneur, um, I'm a youth leader, I'm a property speaker where I teach people how to invest in property. And yeah, I'm getting married in, in August. Mm. I'm excited about that. Yes. And yeah, and, and, and I just basically, I want to I wanna live out my God-given purpose, yeah. my full potential. The best you possible. The best me possible. And the Bible also says that he will give you a help. So I think God is already giving you a help. Easy. Tell me about that. Are you excited about the, the wedding, the planning? How's that everything going? Yeah, and go finding someone who takes your past, your back then and now. How has that experience been? It's, it's been quite... Look, she met me. She, she met me after. Yes. After. So she doesn't really know the old... She, she hears about it, she but she doesn't like, really I know. Like, I don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, so that's exciting, and then she she supports me in everything that I do. Yeah, um, yeah, it's amazing, and I'm actually after this, I'm actually gonna go. We're gonna go put on some suits I'm here with a couple Ooh. of guys. So I'm gonna turn around and say, "This is how we'll look yeah. on my day." Yeah. That's what's <laughs> up. All the best with that. How do you celebrate life now? Like everything that you've gone through. How how? What are those moments that you pick to celebrate life? You know, it's an, it's actually simple moments. It's it's. Sitting at home yeah. with with family on on a on a on a weekend on a Sunday, yeah. which normally I I didn't do that when I was back when I was away. I, I used to I used to leave Thursdays and come home Sundays. Wow! I used to stay awake from Thursday to Sundays. Yeah. My record is actually Wednesday to Wednesday, seven days. And <laughs> okay, you look surprised. No, I'm you? judging your life or <laughs> well, your past life. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. And it's the simple things. I mean, after when I when I just stopped this. For the first couple of months, I used to sit at home on a Friday and watch TV with my mom. Just and to get into that routine of life changing. Yeah, and I oh. enjoyed that because the peace. Yeah. Just, that was... And spending time with your family. Lyra, I think you're an inspiration not only to your family and those close around you um, and your better half mm. that you're getting ready to, to, to wed, but I think you're an inspiration to everybody who's watching. Yeah. I pray that you continue to do great and be a shining beacon for everyone to look at. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for coming to join us. Right now, it's time for us to take a quick Special. music video. When we come back, there's more right here on Mizante Insider. After the break, one of your favorite parts of the show, it's relationship goals. Is there a right time to introduce your lover to your family. And that's where we, we contra contradict ourselves as black people is that um, we are so strict on, on these rules that when life happens, Pusha is going to face the heartbreak alone. She can't go back to the parents and say, listen, Mike broke my heart. Girl said I can get it and said it because she think I'm hot. I said, baby, don't You know what it is. It's not the inside out. That awkward or exciting moment when you meet the parents. So we have a call and of course we have our expert who's no stranger to the Mzansi Insider family. And looking so lovely. Thank you so very much. Pretty, very pretty, very pretty. Very Thank you. Portia. Yes, hi. So your question is, what is your question exactly actually? <laughs> Alright, I just want to know when exactly to introduce my boyfriend to my parents. When is the right time? So I've got a couple yeah. of questions for you, Portia. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. All right. Um, firstly, I want to know, um, how old are you? I am 27. You're 27. Have you ever bought um, or um, presented anyone to your parents? 
before or is no, this the first time? No, no it will be the first time, yeah. Okay. okay, and my last question is how long have you been dating with this one? We've been dating for two years. Two years, okay. Very last question, I'm sorry. So what makes you think you're ready or he's ready to meet your parents? Well, I'm with his parents. So, oh. I'm, yeah, the I'm, I'm kind of ready to introduce it to my parents. I'm just not sure if it's the right time yet. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So you're 27. I mean, you're old enough by now. You know about the whole house and whatever. But obviously, at this age, the person that you're gonna introduce to your parents, you have to be sure about. Yeah. Because it's not cute yeah. anymore. At, at 30, you bring somebody else. Absolutely. At 33, you bring somebody else. You know. Mm -hmm. While it's still very cute for you to bring um, a person when you are 19, it's all very cute when you're yeah. 20 are cute. But at that age, after 27, it's like you bring one person and that's it. It's, it's no longer cute to be bringing different people every time. Yeah. So I'd say yeah. for me, um, be sure that you and your partner are, are good. You are in a, in the same page, firstly. But be sure as well, when you introduce um, this person, don't formalize it. I think that's where we get it wrong as black people. You know, you want to formalize it. Yeah, this is uh, Mike. Mike and I are planning to get married. No, um, they must just know that Mike and you have a relationship. And for now, it's still good. You don't know where it's going. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but um, you'd like for them to support the relationship. So don't formalize it too much. Make them understand, Jorge, it's a relationship. Yeah. It's good, but it's not marriage yet. I think where we get it wrong is when we introduce... Yeah, understand. So, mm. like, how do you introduce it to... For example, our parents who don't see it the way we do, how do you then maneuver? Like, for example, like, if Porsche's mom is like, uh-uh, you bring the one, that's the one. No in-betweens. <laughs> yeah, but you know, the problem I have with that is that um, should, it, should it not work out with Porsche, which is likely to happen, life happens, you mm -hmm. know. Um, how are the parents gonna take that? Mm. Is life, life should be allowed to happen, and that's where we, we contra contradict ourselves as black people, is that um, we are so strict on, on these rules that when life happens, Porsche's gonna face the heartbreak alone. She can't go back to the parents and say, listen, Mike broke my heart, yeah. and this is this is this and this is happening. Do you understand? But the thing is, um, Porsche's in a relationship, right? And if I'm not mistaken, Porsche, you did say that he's introduced you to his parents, right? <laughs> so do you understand, Be before we take it to the parents, it's still a relationship between the two of them. Mm -hmm. Now there's yeah. a, a pressure, right? Portia, do you feel a little bit of pressure yeah. to introduce him to yours now that he's introduced you? Yeah, to be honest. To be honest, I love that. She's like, yeah. <laughs> but is it a honest. pressure or are you ready, Portia? I think I'm ready. Yeah, then, then do it. But what I'm saying is that we, sh we don't need to formalize it and say, Mama, this is whoever, I'm gonna make, get married to them. Yeah. Mama, this is my boyfriend, this is my girlfriend, we're dating, we've been dating for, for the last two years. And um, how promise are you, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. So just no try pressure. not to formalize it. Maybe like when you guys are out for dinner or whatever and bring this person along with, yeah. you know, it's about when, when the uncles are there, everyone is there, you're like, yeah. and you have to introduce around telling one of us to I actually want to find out. <laughs> Portia, how did you get to meet his parents? Was it a formal? Uh, you know, introduction, or was it a, oh, okay, this girl comes around quite a lot. How did it happen for you? It was more of a formal introduction, because we came during the country, and then we are having the man when I came through. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I understand the pressure she's feeling, because she was formalized, and now it's like, ah, dude, formalize me too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Let this be yeah. formal. Okay, your last word of advice to Portia. Portia, just make sure that you are ready. It's You're not doing it for the pressure. You're doing it because you're genuinely ready and you genuinely love this person. But in your communication with your parents as well, um, be light with them. Don't give them false hope. Those questions, mm. try and avoid them or deal with them as as in Hadita, you know, those questions there and then. So just be like, no, 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 no. Um, you don't want to put that pressure on yourself. You know, just let them know. It's a relationship. We don't know where it's going to go or... Just yeah. try not to give in to the pressure any parents so much. Exactly. Um, black families can get uh, cruel. I want to know though, um, can you get away with not introducing your partner? Who's introduced you to their parents um, without introducing them to yours? To be fair, relationships are about a compromise. 
-hmm. you know, you give and take. So it won't be fair. At some point, this guy will start feeling like um, she's not serious about yeah. about him. You know. So when a guy makes in an effort, make the same effort as well. You know, but I, I, I kind of understand where Porsche is at because that would be the same situation for me for argument's sake. My mom is like, you bring the guy you're married, oh, not the guy you're dating, not the guy you're trying to figure it out with. So how would it work in a situation like that where I can't compromise? Me compromising is me being disrespectful yeah. to my family. How, how, do, how do you balance it If out? it's that kind of pressure and you don't see yourself sitting down with the parents or you don't see them compromising, hey, hey, mama, please give me time, give me whatever, then yeah. I'd, I'd suggest once there's at least a ring or yeah. you know, then, then do that. Yeah. You know. Rather wait. Rather wait. Yeah, I, know think, I think everybody comes flexible. from different backgrounds. Yeah. You know your family. Don't try mm. to apply something in South Africa. You know, <laughs> mm. you trying to get away without telling me. <laughs> I ain't trying to, I'm trying trying to, to get away. Like, you see, you see, like, how do I do this without being introduced but, to family? But another thing is that this is the first time she's bringing in somebody. Imagine Porsche had bought in somebody and you need to in, now introduce a second person. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's a different dynamic altogether. Yeah. You know, how do you do that? And well, this thing hanging on to the eggs, for example, you know. Yeah. So it gets complicated if you're introducing somebody for the first, second time. Mm. First time. You can still get away with it. Fantastic. Thank you, you know. so much, Macabello. Porsche, I hope we've answered your questions, baby girl. Definitely. Yes, thank, you. thank you so <laughs> much for hanging out with us, yeah? Thank you, yeah. Porsche. Cool. Bye. Keep the channel locked on Mzazi Insider. You know what it is, Mzazi Insider. Welcome back to Mzansi Insider. It is season five. Now, our next guest proves that vision and consistency are key to owning your power. From the grinding streets of Katlehong to the founder of one of SA's biggest tombstone businesses, Lebohang Khitana, has pushed his business acumen to ensure that his paper remains stacking. to have him in studio joining us. You start a business. Uh, what was going on in your mind? How did you get to the Initially, I started a business of printing. Oh, okay. When I was 18, just after my trick. Yeah. I had a business called Bus Printers. And at 23, I lost everything I had. I lost my business, my cars, everything. And then I started from scratch. I started with clothing. I used to import clothing from Germany. I would bring in jackets, jeans, yeah. clothing, very nice stuff, and uh, bring them more South Africa, to the Rekis. And then Hans Gira, now business area Paro. I fell in love with the business here, mm. And then 2004, we kept Memorial Tombstones. Yeah. And that I want to take it back. You said you lost everything. What exactly are we talking when you say? You lost he everything. How much, That's how much like, exactly what? are we saying? I lost yeah. my business. I lost my cars. Wow. I lost my friends. I, was, I only had a lot of friends, but I only stuck with uh, 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 very, very few friends, mm. Mm. which were about four guys. Wow. But still, I'm my wow. friends. Wow. It's obviously something that people need. Hang out. Um, how not kalaka khobo e? How did you start it off? We born in a gap. We born in a gap. Khobo ni amajwe. What happened is people were doing standard tombstones. Uh, little tombstone shops. You'd go to one. The mm. atswana mm. gaufela. And then I decided to come up with majwe a different Abu Anka motu with a character motu. Majwe aga na hasili jole karing how the kids. It will just be standard. Okay. Mm. Even if it's a standard stone, it still has that. It still has that personal touch. Absolutely. Mm. And I characterize my tombstones. How do I do that? Mm. If you are a musician, yeah. your stone will represent you. What if you are you a do? TV presenter like Simba Mere, yeah. his stone represents him. Shoes Mosheu, a soccer legend, his mm. stone represents him with a soccer stadium with him in the in the field. Wow. And then uh, people like Vuyombuli in mm. Elmutwadi News. Yes. And his stone represents him and character and class yeah. Uh, so it's how depersonalized. Depersonalized. There's an art form to There's it. an art form to my It's amazing. Mm. And uh, that hence it makes me the best tombstone designer in the world. Because how it rush about my job flower. La flava, it's so called. La flava, le nali. What do you call it? 
relente alo pala ma stage alo accepta a summer award it's got a summer award it's got him on the mic wow. and then it's got a QR code i designed the first i came up with the first QR code got the barcode e we kenyan le jweng how is scan with your smartphone or your smart device into history of motor oh, wow. if it's history music videos depends how long it was that is so amazing wow. when i go to my job now abu where they talk yeah yeah now that you you just mentioned that you've been in business for a very long time i've been in business for 22 23 years i'm 41 now wow i've been in business for 23 years since wow. i was 18 where where do you get your entrepreneurial drive from my dad my father may his soul rest in peace kid jacob alfred mugete khitsan uh-huh. the first because uh, i named my son after him Okay. Mm. Now my father was an entrepreneur. He started he was a carpenter and then after being a carpenter he became he started a business here with the gates. Mm. Butler proving and gates. Mm. Yeah welding and uh, that's where I learned wow. entrepreneurship. That's amazing. Yeah. That's absolutely amazing. But my family Gaufela my aunt Bora Khadiwaka Rahadi Daisy has been self employed since since Would you say this is the reason for your success um having come from a background that is very entrepreneurial? Yes. Mm. Yes, it's important Hore, because your father is your role model and if you see him every time doing great things. Absolutely. You want to copy True. what he does and that's what I'm trying to do with my children. Nice. Ke khonor le bona ba understand Hore. Business entrepreneurship it's going to harum yeah and yeah, we should do things like the jews like indians train our kids very young or ba khono fila di gap and le bona they can now become better than us yeah. later on absolutely ha re bo hanya ne ka go bona ya di tombstone no hangata bathong ba rona e mafuki ntse ke di bale yang do you get any perceptions about what she bang ona o sebetsa ka mafuki ke just stereotypes that people will now bring because of the type of business we eat up uh yes and no mm. the nice part about tombstones is that it's all about memories i don't sell tombstones i sell memories nice. now what happens is bad i get at the end of the day how about the low part they need to celebrate my trouble one and how about i be king because tombstone is the final product that but why born and come out so than a coffin mm. now people baba mba do that two years baba mba na lo tla ba pa dile mo 1960 but i get him stone on that one Mm. Yeah, Jale. It's not really taboo. It's not taboo. Mm-mm. All right. We want to speak in numbers now because <laughs> I'm just a very nosy young guy. Cuz I want to know <laughs> the steps in the art in the So back let's home. speak of the most expensive tombstone you made. The most expensive. The most, the most prestigious piece. Yeah. How much was it? Okay, we can go uh, with that. There's stones about 300, 500,000 it depends. Wow. Yeah. Depending nah, wow, on whoa. depending on the the the, the taste yet line because wow. we create statues we create stones with water features right. we with the best right. tombstone company yeah. hence uh two years ago we bought out our major competitor they've been in business for 33 years and we've been we're in business for 12 years hanner tena 10 years god blessed us for khono barreka and we bought them out outright wow now That's we, we own two major tombstone companies in South Africa. We Fantastic. Run the world. That him, is him. amazing. <laughs> Now, are there trends in the tombstone business? Or is there a demand for a certain type of tombstone that comes? I create in? the demand and everybody copies. That's fantastic. Mm. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for a mic to draw. Oh, a horn. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave that right there. The thing so, you, you obviously are a business person yes. or investor. So, we're going to give you a couple of You know, businesses that you can invest in. And you, and tell, you will us tell us if whether you, would you invest. Or you wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Do you want to go first? What's your business? If we had a cat and Rory perfume and we came to you and we said, "Please invest." Would you invest in our perfume line? In your perfume line? Yes, if uh, it makes sense. If in khahandle mm. and if ke bona hore it attract. Everything I do, I do it with my gut feel. Mm. Okay. I don't do things. But also she will get down and come like emo. Or it, it depends. I mean, I was once at an entrepreneurship uh, show mm-hmm. yeah. called the Big Break Legacy. But if I task ke hore eh uh, offer a thousand rands, build a business within 48 hours, you need to make a, a, a profit and that business must have 
potential social impact and also to employ people. Mm. I, created, I created a business, I sold trees. Wow. See, I was thinking the same you line. Understand? I would sell vegetables for real. Now I sold trees. I sold trees to the value of 78,000 rands in 48 wow. hours. I, I just feel like Why you need to mention me. My part? <laughs> like, I'm just like. <laughs> and uh, I sold that, and that's what I am. I can sell I, I, I Forget father. I'm just like, can, can we leave with him so he can be, Can we work for you for a month? Okay, let's continue the game. Let's continue the game. Would you invest in a bed that baths you? So, how to say, go for everything? Ah, it's in Yeah. She would never. Give my hair or what Okay, would you invest in a um, Zanzi inside a burger? If he talks to the masses. Oh, yeah? We yeah. talk to the masses. Which it definitely yeah. does. Zanzi talks to the That's masses. All. Would you invest in me? Actually, let me rephrase. Can you invest in me? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it depends what you come with. It depends what you come with. A whole lot. Of what? Talents. A whole lot. <laughs> I think uh, that you really are an inspiration. To come and sit with us and share the wisdom and everything that you've learned in your journey. And we, Absolutely. we can only hope that you continue to be that person we can point out and, and say, these are people we can follow, you know, when it Absolutely. comes to businesses yeah. and, um, and doing and making a difference in our communities. These are role models, yes. uh, mentors, exactly what we're looking for as the young black youth. Relebo Aulunta, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for joining us. We like it all, even your suit. Chris. Thread. Unfortunately, we've come to that part of the day where we have to say goodbye. Maruhuti and Terminati are paid to a baking at an antebrilte in Casatrataha, Lekasunta, Scalabala. It's 10 a.m. Mzansi. Inside. Hey, young man. So, well, it's been a jam packed show. Best in Pencil is in this bio. It's good being said to Sanam Plancha. We chatted to Tamasha and she had a great performance. What a beautiful performance. For us, Ntate Hitana. Uh, I wanted him to be my daddy, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And of course, we had the image consulting. We had Leroy coming through with his beautiful story, you know. Um, and it's just been like, you know what I feel? I feel nice. It's been like a feel-good show. Mm, Macavelo also held it down for us. She whipped it. Um, with them, she inside whipped a relationship it. We cannot goes. forget it. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. do remember, it's a date. Next week, we hang around right here on Mzansi Inside at 10 a.m. to 11. It's the new age. The Slay Age. Get it? We out of here, baby.